my name is Kim Slavos. I graduated from August in 2008. I now work as a release of information specialist at a hospital in Florida, which basically means that I keep all of your health information safe. And this is Warrior Weekly. Hello, Hello Warriors. Warriors. I'm Jam. And I'm Kino. And here's this week's weather. This week's weather, the highs and lows range from the mid-40s to the low 70s. On Monday, it's going to be bright and sunny. Tuesday is going to be the hottest day this week with some clouds in the sky. On Wednesday, there's going to be scattered showers of rain. And on Thursday, it's going to be even more rainy. Friday will hopefully bring us back to that sun we've been lacking. Dress appropriately. Now on to lunch menu. Today's lunch is mac and cheese, and on Tuesday there's mini pancakes, and on Wednesday we're having cheese pizza. Then on Thursday it's going to be a chicken patty, and finally on Friday we're going to be having a taco boat. It's the third week for the ABC countdown. Today is Kahoot Day. Have fun playing Kahoot in class. Tomorrow is Lazy Day. Remember to wear pajamas to school. Then on Wednesday you guys will be able to dress up as your favorite meme. Thursday is Neon Day. Wear neon colors. And finally on Friday, it's Go Outside Day. Go outside with your class. Now on to Kendall and Sarah with after school activities. Monday Robotics until 5. After school Tuesday, there's an NHS meeting until 3.30 p.m. On Tuesday, the 7th grade nights have a field trip to the Civil War Museum. There's an elementary orchestra concert at AUG on Tuesday at 7 p.m. The next day, on Wednesday, there's an August choir concert starting at 7 p.m and student council until 5. The August 7th grade Spartans field trip to the Civil War Museum will be this Thursday. Lastly, on Saturday, there's a track and field meet at Grace Lake North High School. Good luck, Warriors. In mail, face masks with stacks. This has been face masks with stacks. Hi guys, I'm Jordan and this is our poll segment for this week. On Instagram, our question was, would you like to have school uniforms? 91% said no and 9% said yes. One person responded with, I would not like to have school uniforms because uniforms take away the individuality of students and makes it harder to show others your unique style. Thanks to everyone who responded. See you next week. And now a short reminder about the dress code. Bottoms must not be shorter than mid-thigh. No bare shoulders. No undercut shirts. Ew, I don't want to see her deodorant goop. Rips in clothing should not show skin. Shoes must have straps around the heel. No cracks should be shown anywhere, but leavish back stomach. No hats, no bandanas, no sunglasses, unless it's a special day approved by administration. If you can't adhere to these rules, you'll have to call home and parents will have to bring in new clothing. If you can't do that, then you'll have to wear your stinky PE uniform. Thank you, and remember to follow the dress code. Now, another episode of Cringy Teacher Vines. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> and thus concludes another episode of Cringy Teacher Vines. Shout out to the Student Council and Mr. Scoop would like to give a shout out to Ms. Anderson for her hard work and dedication to Student Council and holding organized meetings even when she is not feeling well. All of the 6th grade teachers would like to give a shout out to their 6th grade students for behaving on the field trip last week. Next, Ms. Sullivan would like to give a shout out to her 6th grade class for finishing all of their Achieve articles and being the only class to do so. Mr. Germain would like to give a shout out to his 6th grade class for working well on their essay. And lastly, Mrs. Lehman and Mr. Fogelson would like to thank those who attended and participated in this year's Antioch Women's Club Annual Student Art Show. We would also like to congratulate this year's winners. 
Winning third place at this year's show were Elizabeth Sabatina, Simon Mariniuk, Alexa Sweeney, Jacob Slavos, Gabrielle Debevic, and Olivia Gondek. Taking home second place were Joseph Lloyd, Mackenzie Robinson, Hunter Savelle, Sarah Hurd, and Abby Kowalski. First place ribbons were awarded to Alyssa Randell, Carter Empin, Hannah Gadavichik, Michael Buccino, and Azana Nordhaus. A special congratulations to Alyssa Mandel, who won Best of Show. Congratulations again to winners and participants. Mrs. Lehman and Mr. Fogelson will be getting artwork back to these Oz students throughout the week. This week's weekly quote is Do the Right Thing. It will gratify some people and astonish the rest by Mark Twain. Doing the right thing is never wrong. The consequences of your actions will always end up in a positive note. Remember to never be afraid to speak out. We hope you guys have a good week. Remember to be responsible, be respectful, and be safe. Have a nice day.